Hello, it's Monday, and we're starting this week off with a little bit of a public service announcement about a, well, it's not a recall, but if you have a Bamboo Lab A1 printer, uh, they're doing a, what's called a cable callback, I guess. Uh, so if you have this printer, and as far as I'm aware, and as far as all the documentation shows here, this only affects the A1, not the A1 Mini, nor does it affect their Core XY machines. Uh, but it looks like there's an issue with the wire that supplies power to the bed. Uh, it looks like it can be easily damaged. They're saying through rough handling uh, during transportation or simply by tilting the machine over apparently is enough uh, to cause some damage here. And this is an example image they're showing. You got a little bit of a bulge here. And this is what it's supposed to look like. So again, this is the wire that provides power to your bed and also the thermistor. But remember the bed on the Bamboo Lab A1 is a mains powered bed. So depending on where you live in the world, it's 110 or 220 uh, for the voltage there. Uh, now, they are saying if you do have damage, you can reach out to them. There are, uh, they're looking at either providing you with the cable to replace it yourself, although I really wouldn't recommend that. And in a lot of places, you're not actually allowed to work on mains voltages uh, without a license. This is some countries have rules for that. Uh, and they are saying if you do have damage, they'll replace uh, the unit potentially. Now, they are offering this little 3D printed fix here. That apparently is what they're doing. Uh, and if you do reach out to them, I believe they will send you this uh, if you can't print it, because obviously if you can't use your printer because of a safety defect, you can't use the printer to print the thing that's supposed to fix a safety defect. Uh, but a bunch of pictures are coming in and I, I don't know how widespread this issue is because I'm seeing a lot of different pictures crop up, just checking the subreddits or the help uh, section of their website. And the first one that really stands out to me, if you if you look at the little protector here that's supposed to prevent this kind of damage, one of the first pictures I found, and this is off their, their wiki that had the original post about this, um, th this burn mark here is much further back than this little cable protector will protect. Um, now, I don't know exactly what caused this. We'll, we'll probably come back to this situation later but some other pictures i found here this one was a post on bamboo labs wiki uh their printer sparked you can see some splatter here a little burn mark and that is a burn mark there uh the printer is unplugged right now obviously and then these are some other pictures of the damage that bamboo's lab saying if you have this damage reach out to them and they'll they'll start working on replacements so as it is right now you can't actually buy a bamboo lab uh, their site is showing it out of stock i don't know if it's actually out of stock or if they pulled it because of this reason because now they're going to have to use those units to do replacements uh, for those that have issues um so some other things here, if you're wondering about replacing it yourself, uh, it is mains voltage again. So depending on where you live, Canada, or correction, depending on where you live in North America or Europe, it's gonna be 110 or 220, but the bed itself is a mains voltage bed. So here's the wire here. As you can see, it goes in here directly into the power supply. Uh, this is a screen capture from Vector 3D's uh, teardown, I believe. Hopefully there was covers on here, um, but either way, it's a mains powered bed. And this is the one that scares me the most. So this is a video of it, somebody's cable sparking. Now, this video was posted by Nathan Build Robots here on Twitter. Uh, this video is apparently from the Bamboo Lab Facebook group. I don't use Facebook, so I don't really have access to get the original source. Uh, there are comments saying some people don't know, you know, there, there's no actual information with this video, unfortunately, so, you know, Potentially, this could be a malicious video, um, but or it could just be the printer errored out, gave a weird error, and when they turned it back on and homed it um, or started a print, they were recording at that time because they wanted to see potentially what was causing the issue. So as you can see, that that's sparking. That's that's not good. So yeah. So if you have a Bamboo Lab A1 machine, uh, links for everything in the description. Go check it out. Um, as always, it's a 3D printer. It is a glorified hot glue gun that splooges molten plastic, but it does have components that can get to several hundred degrees Celsius. And with wiring and whatnot, you, you, you want to be as safe as possible. So if you do have this machine, if you are having these issues, make sure you reach out to Bamboo Lab and get this corrected. Take care and cheers.